I cannot do this. Ugh! Um, it's Wednesday, August 30th, 10.39 a.m. And I was just crying. Because I'm so overwhelmed with everything. I didn't... I didn't realize how crunched I am on time. And like, in reality, it can all get done, but I'm just like extremely overwhelmed right now. <laughs> it's raining out, like, I need a pack. Completely on the downside to being done with all the time. <sighs> yeah. So that was me a few months ago. It's currently November. Can gladly say that we have surpassed that and we're on to bigger and better things. A lot has happened in between when I filmed that video and where we are now. Clearly you can see that I'm like fully moved into my dorm. All settled down, have been here for the past like two and a half months. And as you can assume, I'm extremely behind on YouTube stuff. I apologize, but I can reassure you guys that I have a lot of really fun and exciting content coming soon. It's just a matter Matter of finding the time to be able to get it out to you. School has been really good. Super chaotic though. Junior year is seriously no joke. It reminds me a lot of how high school junior year was, how everyone like kind of builds it up to be like a lot of work and it definitely is a lot of work. I just want to thank you guys for just kind of like sticking by my side through this whole thing and being patient with me. I'm really excited for you guys to see the videos that I've been working on, including this one. And yeah, just give me time. I'll get there eventually. But really quickly before we get into today's video, I just want to talk briefly about the sponsor of today's video, which is ThreadUp. So if you guys have been around on my channel, you guys probably know that I've partnered with ThreadUp multiple times over the past like two years because I absolutely love them. For those of you that don't know what ThreadUp is, ThreadUp is essentially an online consignment slash thrift store where you guys get the opportunity to shop secondhand first. ThreadUp is a great way to keep more money in your pocket, get really cute clothes, and save the planet. ThreadUp just recently added a new feature on their app where you guys can shop my favorites along with a handful of your other favorite influencers. So for this sponsored segment, ThreadUp let me go on their website and pick a handful of fall inspired clothes that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. The stuff that I have on right now is actually from ThreadUp and we're going to be talking about it a little bit. Okay, also do we appreciate the flaming bibble in the background? I absolutely love him. Anyways, on to the try on haul. So this is the first thing that I got from ThreadUp. It is like the comfiest fleece sweater from New Balance. This thing was originally $102 but I got it for $36.99. Such a steal. This thing is so soft and I also just like love the detailing on it. This thing is so cute and so comfortable. It's definitely gonna be one of my new fall staple items. These pants were originally $32, but I got them for $17.99. They're so cute. They have like all these like carpenter pants details, which I love. And also just like the classic Dickies logo. So up next we have this Coca-Cola t-shirt, which is from PacSun. I really like the shirt because it's just super comfortable. It almost looks vintage if you know what I'm talking about. I know it's not because it's like fully from PacSun, but they did a good job with this. This shirt actually goes perfect with my little Dickies jeans and I love it. I absolutely love this combo. I didn't think I was gonna love it as much as I do, but like this detailing and like the patchwork detailing on here just like complement each other really, really well and I'm like obsessed with it. So both the top and the bottoms are from PacSun. This top was less than $10, bottoms less than $11. Come on now. That that is like the cheapest outfit that you are ever going to be able to get from PacSun in the history of man. So that is pretty much it for me for right now. Thank you so much ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. I am absolutely obsessed with you guys and everything that you stand for. Sponsored or not sponsored, I will still be using ThreadUp. If you guys want to get 40% off your entire first order from ThreadUp, you guys can use my code Julia. Typically the discount codes are only worth 30%, so use this while you can. Also, if you want to shop things through my styled lens, you can click the link in the description box where you can see all of my favorite picks. And I guess without further ado, let's get back into the video. Nine minutes. I have nine minutes to pull myself together. I have a call at 11 and I need to get my sh** together. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I apologize for the rocky start. I promise I will pull it together as this video progresses. Oh my gosh, my skin is always so soft after I ball my eyes out. <sighs> okay, I actually feel better. Maybe I just needed to cry, honestly. I move into school on Sunday, which is sneaking up on me a lot faster than I realized. So today's video is basically gonna be centered around me packing for college, which I have not started to do yet, hence the complete mental breakdown that I just had. But we're gonna do it, it's gonna be fine. I think I'm just like, really overwhelmed because like there's just a lot of things that I wanted to get done before I move into school and I just feel like the clock is ticking way too fast. I feel like it's moving at like two times speed right now and I'm not keeping up very well. It's 10.58, two minutes until this call. I'll be back later, hopefully more composed. We're back. We've recovered 
somewhat. I just got off my call, put on a change of clothes, put on this pit bull t-shirt because like this is the energy I'm trying to embody today. I'm gonna head down to my basement and we're gonna start moving things upstairs so I can start organizing and figuring out where everything is and pack basically. Let's do it. I don't, I'm like, I don't even, I'm, ugh. I literally want to start crying again, but I can't do that. We don't have time for that. This is what we're working with. As you can see, I have not touched it since I got home in May. I think a good start for us is to get all of these bins upstairs and start sorting through them because there's still a lot of stuff in them that I've left from last year. Okay guys, we did it. I successfully carried everything from my basement upstairs. We have some bags of clothes that I need to go through. I don't even know if this is gonna fit, but I got this laundry thing from Wayfair. It's super cool because it's on wheels and it has like three different baskets, but just don't know if this is gonna fit. You said you were packing lighter. I'm trying, okay. We have all this stuff and this stuff and this stuff. It's a solid start. My sister and I are gonna leave to get lunch soon, but when I come back, I'm gonna probably start organizing everything and seeing what we're working with. This is not it though. I still have all my bedding upstairs in the attic because it doesn't get like mildewy up there. So my mom makes me keep it up there so it doesn't smell weird. And then I have all my clothes and things in my bedroom that I still need to pack. Baby steps, baby steps. He's mad. I just got back from lunch. I think I'm gonna grab everything upstairs in the attic and then we're gonna start going through everything and organizing it. The one thing that I'm really grateful for is that this year, well, not grateful for, but grateful for in the packing process, I don't have my own bathroom this year. We're switching back to communal bathrooms. So that means I don't have to worry about any of that stuff, but it does mean that I have to go back to communal bathrooms. This attic is so spooky. This is all of my bedding and such. I'm so excited. I got the full body pillow from Target and I'm really excited to put on my bed this year. That one trip mentality. Bean has no idea what's going on right now. That's two thirds of my stuff. It's everything except for the things for my bedroom. I'm gonna be a little sticky iPad kid and set up my laptop, put on some YouTube and start organizing all of this. I got my station set up. I have my good old 2017 Emma Chamberlain YouTube video playing and I'm just gonna be organizing all of these bins. My holy grail. I got all of these like clear plastic bins from Walmart. I don't know what I'm gonna put in them yet but I'm really excited that I have them because it just means that I can like organize more things. Look what I just dug out of the woodworks. We have my brown gymnastics competition bows. This was for our pride meet. I think, I don't know what that was for. This was my freshman year bow. Oh my gosh. It has the old logo. I'm so excited. When I go to school, I get to use my new shampoo and conditioners that I bought. And I'm so excited about this guy. My mom got me this weighted dinosaur plush from Target and I've been waiting to use it. So it's like a little treat when I get to school, kind of like incentivize me to get there. He's the cutest ever. I'm so excited. I wanted to show you guys my favorite hair elastics of all time. This brand, the 2023 Brown Gym Team. I have another one, green protectors for my iPad dish that I definitely did not steal from the dining hall. Brown cup. Oh my gosh. Guys, if you want a fan that can seriously move air, get a Vornado. These things are so good. So it's like later in the day. And for some reason, this part of my house has no lights. So I'm like working in the dark. Bean came to join me. I'm doing pretty good though. I just found my lifeline, my water Brita. This thing seriously saves me because I'm such a water snob. I will not drink unfiltered water, but I'm gonna change out the filter. We are all ready for the next year. Wanna raise my hands cause I'm feeling it, feeling it. Are you feeling this? Are you feeling this? Oh, you only got one life. So I finished organizing five of the six big bins. I've been avoiding this one though that I'm about to do because it's outrageous. Guys, <laughs> this is so bad. This is basically my hoard of snacks. I need to like force myself to go through this, but I've been avoiding it all summer for good reason. It's an absolute nightmare. So make it feel like sunshine. I feel the sun on my face. It's a brand new day. 
as a little update, we're doing a lot better. This is really what I've been working on for the past, I don't know, two hours. Just getting as much into these bins as possible. I might bring these to school and put them underneath our communal sink area in the common room so everybody can use them. I'm living with two other girls, so that would actually be perfect because everybody would get like a row of bins. Leaving that on the back burner for now. I successfully sorted through all the snacks and this is my keep bag to be decided what's gonna happen to that. I still need to like condense everything, but it's looking a lot better. The next thing that I wanna do is break this thing down. I kept the tools and the box that came with it. And it's Hi guys, it's a new day. It is Friday. Today we are going to be packing up all of the clothes and stuff in my room. We went to the mall earlier today. I have a quick little haul. I'm obsessed with these tank tops from Hollister. I already have it in white and she's actually wearing the other color. That posture goes crazy. <laughs> She's editing a thumbnail right now. But I got it in red and in black. They only have them in extra smalls though. They still fit, but they're definitely a little bit more snug than the other two. And then finally, guys, I have a problem. I got this like K18 pack full set. So we're gonna start packing. I already organized everything in my room in this video. So I'm actually feeling really good about this process. It should be really quick because I know everything that I'm working with and I slimmed down a lot of stuff. I think we'll be able to finish this in like a pretty quick amount of time. Hey squad, this look, this is my thumbnail. First up, we're gonna do pants. These are all my shorts. I'm gonna like try not to bring too many shorts. Oh, but they're also cute. Low key, I probably am gonna end up bringing all these. These are all the shorts I'll be bringing. Can't help it. Chronic overpacker here. These are the shorts I will not be bringing. It's like cold a majority of the time that I'm at school, so I'll definitely be bringing more pants than shorts. I will definitely be bringing these. These are like my new favorite pants. They're so cool. Guys, happy Halloween. It's a good day. I will be taking these and leaving these at home. I'm gonna throw all of these in trash bags because that's like my favorite way to transport things. It's just, it's a lot easier. This is my video now. Lovely. Next, we're gonna be doing athletic wear. Next up, we can move to this bureau. Up here, the only thing that I have is bathing suits. And for all of you that don't know, Brown is located in Providence, Rhode Island, which experiences a very extreme winter. So don't think I'm gonna be needing many bathing suits. I think I'm just gonna like pick my favorite two and then just bring those. For bathing suits, I'm gonna be bringing this one by Princess Polly and then this one by Triangle. I think my mom put this through the wash because what is this? I'm never gonna get this untied. I did it. Okay. I'm back. So I just did some organizing. This is like three out of the five drawers of clothes and I just like pulled out everything that I wanted to take and it is all right here. Just to give you guys a little tour, we have t-shirts, brown athletics gear, bedtime shorts, the two bathing suits that I pulled out, leggings, all of this stuff, and then athletic shorts, leotards, Nike pros, and tanks for practice. I think all of this stuff is ready to go into bags. Bag number two and three. So this is my final selection of sweatshirts and sweatpants. Number four, bag number five, bag number six. Finally for clothes, I just have some dresses that I'm going to be bringing. I have no idea what bag number this is. We are officially done with packing all of my clothes. The last thing that I want to do today is pack shoes. And then I think tomorrow I'm going to take on my miscellaneous things. For shoes, we're working with this. And then these shoes back here. And then I also have more shoes downstairs. Let's take it step by step. Let's do this closet first. Okay, guys, I feel like I did pretty good. These are the shoes that I'm going to be bringing into school this year. I know there's a fair amount, but believe it or not, normally it's way worse. Earlier today, I set aside my jewelry that I wanted to bring to school, all of my hair care and skincare. I think the last stuff that I have to put aside is my tech, which I have all laid out right here. And then, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the packing. It's 2.33 p.m. My uncle's coming in roughly 30 minutes to help me pack up my dad's truck and my car. So I want to make sure that I have everything ready for him when he comes. So we're not wasting his time. All right, guys, I think we are 
are done. So I kind of organized everything. We have all of my bedding. This is my full body mirror, which I love. Just have all this stuff. And then my six big bins that are gonna go under my bed. This fan. And then everything in trash bags is my clothes. We got hangers, brown gym bag, and other cosmetic stuff. My uncle's here. I never officially outro that video and I apologize but this is good because now I can kind of like check in with you guys and bring you guys back to like ground zero because we just time traveled back like two and a half months. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was like an emotional chaotic roller coaster, but when are my videos not that vibe? I cannot believe that it is already November. We have less than two months left in the year. I feel like it was just 2023 and we're about to go into 2024, which means 2025 is right around the corner and I graduate in 2025 and that is not okay. Anyways, that is a whole nother demon that we will tackle at a way later date. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Despite the way it started, I had a lot of fun filming it, and I'm glad that I made it to college in one piece and figured everything out. Even though I'm still low-key and a bunch of chaos, it's more muted chaos. But anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. I love you and I've missed you so very much, and don't forget to use my promo code Julia on ThreadUp to get 40% off your entire first order. Everything regarding ThreadUp and all of my links will be down in the description box if you want to go check it out. I would highly recommend. I've been working with them for so long and I have never regretted it. Thank you ThreadUp once again for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys so much and I'll be sure to see you very very soon. Bye guys!